I've got to say, fellow bounty hunter, there seems to be too many of them. I'm going to have to self-destruct. Please, don't do that. We can fight them off. We're both trained bounty hunters. That is acceptable. Pew! Pew! Right, we got them. Now we can get our bounty hunter prize, and I will take the credit. Can we discuss this later? Yes. Alright, let's see what we got. Well, is this it? Running a quick diagnostic. Yes, this is it. Hey, wait a minute. Why didn't they make a brick head of me? Pew! Oh yeah. What's going on YouTube? Max Brickman here. I have to tell you, I am pretty excited today. I finally got it. The Mandalorian and Child, aka Baby Yoda, Brickheads. Clearly I am going through a Brickhead obsession because three out of my last five videos have been dedicated to Brickheads. I loved The Mandalorian. I was one of those guys who went ahead and bought Disney Plus just for this one show. And uh, no regrets. It was pretty sweet. I was a big fan of Werner Herzog's character and the guy who played the villain from Breaking Bad's character and Carl Weathers' character. Character. Just a great show all around. Hot diggity dog. Let's take a look. It's a nice two pack with the Mandalorian. Does he have a name? Does he have a name? I want to say no. He doesn't even really have a face. But yeah, the Mandalorian and the child. Why does nobody have a name in this show? The child? No wonder they call him Baby Yoda, which is just totally different from the usual brickhead. Even the Yoda brickhead was more standard. It had like the three stud whip. And this is in a floating bassinet. Oh, but it does appear that you can remove him from the bassinet. That's cool. And the Mandalorian has a couple of extra lightsabers on his belt. What are those, like food canisters or something? Oh man, I am really excited to build this. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a very beautiful silhouette of their unlikely relationship. So based on that, I mean, the size proportions are pretty off here. That bassinet is tiny. Wait. <laughs> They flip his ears to show a change of emotion. Very cute. All right, let's put this thing together. Does this bother people? I don't care, because I don't save the box, but I have to imagine those box savers out there really hate these like sort of perforated punch tabs because it ruins the box. Personally, I'm gonna throw that box out anyway, so I don't really care. It makes it slightly easier to open for me. I'm gonna do it. Bam! Watch this, I'm even gonna, I'm gonna tear the box. <laughs> it all gets recycled anyway. So who do we build first? We're supposed to build the child, aka Baby Yoda first, as shown here in the booklet. The Mandalorian, we're supposed to build second. But um, in the show, you see the Mandalorian first. So I'm gonna just sort of go a little crazy here and build this guy first. If that bothers you, please tell me off in the comments because I'd like to know. Three bags of varying sizes for this one and let's dump them out. Well, let's put it together. Ha <laughs> ha 
Mando, looking good. Yeah, that's pretty great. I love these details. The cape is excellent. Look at that. They've simulated the flowing nature of the cape, which looks amazing. The utility belt is great. Giant gun on the back that incinerates people. Love it, but something that does bother me, this pauldron. One of the seminal moments of the entire series is when he gets a bit of Beskar steel that he uses to create a new shoulder pauldron, and that happens in the first episode. I understand him not having the full Beskar Mandalorian armor, but come on, he's got that shoulder pauldron right from the get-go. I think that should be this color. Speaking of this color, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was sort of expecting the more metallic metal color for the helmet rather than the sort of standard dark Great. I understand the decision. They probably would have had to mold a ton of new pieces in this silver steel color in order to make the whole helmet that way, but I am just a tad bit disappointed. Now having said that, I think overall this thing is excellent. I love the way that they kind of get this construction here. It's very complicated. Studs on the side for this vertical section here of the Spartan style helmet. Let's compare it to the Boba Fett brickhead. So here are those two side by side. I'm noticing that they're very similar. The helmet is about the same construction. One major difference, this curved piece here instead of this printed piece, I think it looks way better like this. Obviously the jet pack. Ooh, but they got the cape there too. It's a little bit different. Kind of like the Mandalorian cape a little bit more. Now this jet pack is obviously sweet, but our unnamed Mandalorian friend from the show did not have one, so it makes sense not to give him one like that. So I think, you know, it's similar enough, but different in all the right ways. Love these knee pads as well. Those sort of tooth pieces, cool. So overall, oh, whoa. Look at that. Did anybody see that? That was crazy. I don't think I could have done that if I tried. What was I saying? You know what? While I'm at it, let's compare the minifigs. A boba. Cool. Cool. All right, let's dig into this Baby Yoda situation, or if you want to call him the child, I guess. Pretty vague. There's got to be a lot of children out there. I missed a piece. There. You happy? Are you happy now? Here we go. The child. Okay, is this like a QR code for the instructions? Um, you know, call me crazy, but if you have this already, why do you need to be able to scan it for the instructions? Like, I get if you lose the booklet, then you know, you need the instructions, but if you have it to scan the QR code, then you already have the instructions. It doesn't make any sense to me. Am I missing some sort of a concept here? Write in the comments if this makes sense, and I'm just an idiot. Here are the two bags for number one. Cool, so it seems like the main carapace of the bassinet is going to be made out of these guys here and these larger dome bits. This is interesting. You know, you, you rarely see one of these bricks in a, in a Lego set these days. They're just so huge and chunky. It's hard to fit them in in today's detailed Lego sets. But yeah, I guess it's probably gonna go on the inside of the bassinet. I love this color too. It reminds me of the inside of the egg that the Jawas eat, the rhino's egg. Sorka! Yeah, let's put this darn thing together.
and so it is complete. This thing is so cool. Firstly, I would like to say I thought it was adorable that they put that tiny little pink brain inside of this guy. If you're a fan of the channel, you know how I feel about those little brickhead brains. I thought it was just very cute. The bassinet looks incredible, perfectly shaped. It's so satisfying when I was building it. It was like, this is gonna sound weird, but it reminded me of a toilet in the best way. So the child is removable from the bassinet. Here's the inside look at that thing. That giant brick, by the way, is inside of here. And here's the child, there he is. This is also just so wonderful. I like how the robe goes all the way down to the ground. He can kind of walk around like this. And I love his tiny, tiny little grabby hands. <laughs> is so funny. And you can also flip the ears to make him sad and innocent. Oh, sad. Happy. Sad. Happy. And here they are together. The Mandalorian and his young child. His biological son. No, the little boy that he didn't kill. Or girl. I don't know. Is it a boy? I feel like it's a boy, but I don't know. So here they are together. And here they are together with the child in the bassinet. I, I also forgot to mention, I love that this thing kind of hovers a little bit off the ground, just like in the show. All right, so now that we have these things built, it's time for a little bit of playtime. I have spoken. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. What was that? I have spoken. I, I know, what was it that you said? I have spoken. Oh my god, this is the raspiest conversation I've ever heard. Oh my goodness, how are we ever gonna fight this thing? Like this. Honestly, this isn't that much better. Move over, Boba Fett. There's a new Mandalorian in town. So, let me get this straight. We can never take our helmets off. It is the way. But, like, never. It is the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely, but, you know, what if I have to scratch my nose or something? It is the way. Uh, okay, sure, but how come in none of the other movies, whenever there was ever another Mandalorian, this was never a thing? It is the way. Okay, sure, yeah, but we're all Mandalorians. Like, maybe, you know, can we take off our helmets in front of each other? It is the way. Oh, gosh, okay. Being a bounty hunter is a very complicated profession. You're telling me. Mmm, quite large for a child you are. <laughs> All right, YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Max Brickman, and I'll see you next time.